Ha! Huh. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can stream. I'm a Lauren that can stream. So as a reminder, I will not be streaming this Thursday or this Saturday because I will be out of town. I may be streaming next Tuesday, depending on if I am too exhausted from traveling. Um, I will keep you all posted on that um, and my state of mind next Tuesday. So uh, sit tight on that front. Um, so that's next future. But let's think about the past specifically. <laughs> Maker's End, in which everything everything happened so much happened like i don't even know how to handle the massive lore dump that we got i i selfishly do feel as though i get some credit for piecing some things together which i enjoy i know it's not a competition and i know that like i should be having fun with it and not trying to like win at being like the best at predicting things but this is a thing that I enjoy doing. It's like a puzzle that I like to piece together. and It's very fun. Um, and so I, uh, I am excited when I guess things right. So I feel like, uh, I feel like I want to celebrate that because especially with my memory being so bad, it's nice to know that at least part of my brain is working. The part of my brain that is analytical and deductive and all of that stuff, the part of my brain that writes stories, is working and so I can piece together things in other people's stories no what was really interesting for me last time was that there were a lot of things that I'd been sort of trying to piece together a bit at a time um and then they gave me like the final pieces just in time to start assembling things and really figure it out because I had questions that I had been asking um for you know months while playing this game. I had questions about, you know, what are the robots digging? Why do they seem to be digging in the hillside? Um, what's going on with, uh, like, you know, why are the, the metal flowers? Why, why did they have to potentially repopulate the, the plants of the earth? Like, what's up with this? Um, and those are questions that I had asked, but had really no way of knowing, unless there's um, data points that I've missed, um, but really no way of knowing what those were. Um, and they give you pieces just to step you into the final conclusions before they straight up tell you, um, which I appreciate that because you want people like me to be able to piece things together if they want to piece things together. Uh, but you don't want them to figure it out super early and be like, that's so obvious. You know, unless it's supposed to be, there's a degree of ironic tension between what you, the player, know and what the characters know. And that can be an intentional thing. Um, but, uh, but I don't think that's really what they're going for here. Um, and, uh, and so we want the player to be able to figure it out early enough to feel smart and cool, um, but not so early that they're sitting there getting like frustrated with other people not knowing it. Um, and so, oh, I should get some water before we, uh, before we dive in too much. So I'm going to grab some water. Um, but yeah, so they, t they timed that really well. They, they did a really good job with their pacing on that. They were really, really clever. Um, and I, at least for me, I, I feel like I feel like it was very effective. Um, and so you're, you're feeling some satisfaction from figuring things out while also being absolutely horrified about the facts within the story that you are figuring out as you realize how also like the, the, the end of the world is triggered by one dude's greed and his company's greed. Because it's not just one person. They do make it clear. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just do, okay. The recap, I'm not going to recap because uh, you were there, presumably. If you weren't there, like, I'm sorry, I can't recap all of that. It's too much. I can't be like, there. here are the three exciting things that happened. Like, no, a lot happened. Um, so I'm just going to do an analysis -y type thing, just like Lauren's thoughts before we pick back up, if that's all right with you. Um, so... It's interesting that it's not... You think the end of the world is going to be caused by war. Because of multiple sides destroying the world. world. Um, but it's not even that, really. The end of the world is not just one person. It is one person and his like-minded corporation. It's capitalism. <laughs> it's corporate greed. It's, it's not thinking about anything else except the quest to make money it's it's 
this extreme short-sightedness, not considering the consequences of what you're doing because you could make more money if you do it that way, um, which is so incredibly true to how corporations function in our modern world that I think it's a really good decision on their part. It's not a cartoonishly even evil villain twirling his mustache. It's not somebody trying to take over the world like megalomaniacal like um, empirical or um, 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 imperial minded sorry those are different words um like 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 nutcase bad guy it's just corporations making decisions with consequences they don't consider because all they care about is making money N line must go up numbers must get bigger and that is that, that is a lot of terrible things have happened in our real world to the planet and to the people and animals and plants that live here. Um, so many times again and again and again. That's one of the problems with modern, like, I mean, I mean you know, maybe calling it capitalism, maybe that's not entirely accurate. Maybe that's a meanie way of talking. I don't know. But whatever it is, the mindset, the modern mindset that the ultimate goal is to make dollar number go up, which, you know, you cannot deny that that's one of the primary motivators in our world. Um, that it, people, people, people prioritize making the most money possible as though it's like a religious calling, as though it's like an objectively correct action. Like, you'll be like, why did they do this? And it's like, well, but they could make more money that way. And I'm like, yeah, but these other bad things would have happened. And it's like, yeah, but they, they make more money that way. Yeah, but people are dying and they could make enough money for their company to be healthy and not kill people. But there are a lot of people you talk to, at least a lot of people that I talk to, that are like, but why are you asking that question? Obviously that's the decision they had to make because that's the decision that makes them the most money. And that's the, that's what you have to do. That is what you are called to do. That is what companies must do. And like, it's possible to have companies, you know, it's, it's possible to have business and trade and money and things like that and make decisions that keep you afloat and even growing to some degree um, without making sacrifices uh, usually other people have to make those sacrifices to make the number get bigger no matter what like you can you can choose the the the, the action that would make you the, the third most amount of money but not wipe out multiple species of creatures you know like you can make that that decision and it can be like a financially viable decision you know, it can make sure that you can pay your bills, that you can pay your employees, that everybody who works for you can keep the lights on and be fine, but also not, you know, pour toxic waste beneath a city so that children develop terrible, like terrible birth defects, you know? You can make decisions that would still be okay for you and your company. You would still be well off and not have these consequences for other people. And, uh, and that's, that's a thing that I think is a cultural problem that people have prioritized that idea of making, not just making money, but making the most possible amount of money, regardless of any consequences that's such a strong thread underlying uh, so much culture, not just American culture, although it is very prominent in the US, uh, but in a fair bit of the world, um, that it's just inconceivable to suggest that somebody might make another choice, even if on average that other choice would be better in the long run. Um, this is not a very, like, focusing on the shareholders and the idea of, 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 of infinite, um, infinite, uh, massive growth to please shareholders, like, that's, that's not actually sustainable in the long term. That's the thing is you can't have, you cannot grow infinitely for all time. There are finite resources in the world. So, 
in a way, one could say, please forgive me for what I'm about to say, friends. One could say that the swarm in Horizon Zero Dawn, which consumes everything regardless of consequence without stopping, without, um, without uh, constraint, without, without thinking about long-term consequences or considering the value of others. One could say that it's a metaphor for the modern mindset, the modern corporate mindset. of consuming and growing regardless of consequences and expecting or at least not even considering the possibility that growth to infinity isn't possible. There you go, folks. Please forgive me. I was a lit major. All right. I like... I hate, I don't want to be looking for symbolism, girl. Because looking for symbolism, girl, is one of the most frustrating parts of any lit class. Anyone who's been in a lit class. Sometimes looking for symbolism, girl, isn't a girl, but it's still looking for symbolism, girl. <sighs> but, uh... <clears throat> I mean, it just fits too well. I'm not going to say that the Horizon Zero Dawn people were like, what if we decided to make the end of the world be caused by something that's a symbol, a symbol of corporate greed? It's symbolic of corporate greed. Um, but, uh, but it, it is representative of corporate greed in a tangible, physical way. Of course, that it comes from actual literal corporate greed um, which you get a sense for that reading the data points again like I, said, like I said earlier this isn't just one person's mistake it's not just Ken Farrow's mistake Ken is it Ken his name is Farrow though I remember this Ken I could check but I won't I will just in my Ted Ted oh my god <laughs> Ted Farrow look I was close okay Ken and Ted are very similar names they're simple one syllable uh names that have uh that have a uh, have an e and it's the same sound They're like it's the same name it's the same name basically um but yeah so ted ted pharaoh um no offense to anyone named either ken or ted i'm sorry um but uh <laughs> but uh it's not just ted pharaoh that causes this. In fact, Ted Farrow actually starts backing away from it. Like, he is actually able to recognize that he made a mistake. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, there's other people involved that make decisions that are, that are dangerous and bad. Like, when the, when the person in the, when, when the, the receptionist, I think it is, is like, hey, could we not have people who are at war having meetings within 10 minutes of each other so they wind up fighting? And, like, the, incredibly like dehumanizing dismissive oh my god i want to just punch him in the face um like what is it is, it, is, it, is that the marketing guy sales guy i don't remember which one he is but one of those guys um is like actually this made them pay more it's like yes but at what cost to other people like at what cost what sales okay marketing is not usually marketing usually has other problems that's more of a sales problem um but yeah like it's it's so so incredibly like 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 he's responsible for it all of the all of the people asking like pr people like passing the buck how are we going to deal with this what are we going to do where the things that they're talking about they're still thinking about the company and how this is going to affect the corporation instead of what are the consequences going to be for the world and granted m m people don't like to think about things like that you know um and, uh, and also, you know, they're paid to do their jobs and so they can think about their jobs and that sort of thing. Um, but there is like, like, there is this like very short sighted corporations got to make money thing throughout the logs, throughout the individuals who work at this company. And as, as somebody pointed out somewhere, 
I don't remember if it was on Discord or in a YouTube comment or something, but somebody pointed out that um, when, uh, oh gosh, now I don't trust myself to think of names. Elizabeth Sobek goes to talk to Ted. Um, he like, like, like they, 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 they establish that he's like tried to sue her 17 times or something like that. You know? Um, when, when she left, I mean, like, who knows what, if he's trying to put her out of business or what he's trying to do, but he's like pitching a fit that she's not doing what he wants. It's presumably him that made that decision. I don't know. Oh my God. I got, de I got derailed. I got derailed thinking about all that stuff. Um, because it's really, really interesting and really real world, um, relevant. But now we know a lot that makes a lot of sense. Um, and I want to go back and revisit some things. They were still in progress and he dropped them. Yeah, I guess, I guess, how many years had it been that she'd left? Because I feel like some of them might have, might have, uh, might have, like, kind of just flopped out. I don't know. I don't know. What data point has not been? Ah, okay, so in case we wanted to rewatch or re-listen to, I suppose, these. Um... No, ha, that's funny. The first one is on Halloween. No, I don't, I think you get the feeling that he's filed multiple suits against her before. Um, cause I think that she comes to see him. Like, unless you're saying that he wanted her to come and he was like, I'll, I won't drop these suits unless you come, um, to, to talk to me about this. But I'm not, I'm not sure. Like I get the feeling that this has been like kind of a long standing problem with the suits filed against her. Um, yeah, alpha privilege unlock, because I have the alpha privilege, because I have Elizabeth Sobek's DNA. Which again, Sobek is a really interesting choice. And that's the thing, like, they do definitely have a layer of symbolism in the names that they, the names that they choose. So between, um, him calling her in and her arriving, and her deciding that, that Operation Zero Dawn, um, is the only way to go, um, is four days starting on Halloween what, what a horror story then we go to the day of the dead and then a few days later she's done everything she can do but uh I don't know like I'm pretty sure that I know what Zero Dawn is oh see I just assumed that the suits were um were old like longer standing here we go. It's been years. Where's your legal team? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right. This promises to be interesting. Let's see. Yes. So we have a question for the, uh, the, the end of the, like we, we have an answer to the end of the world, but we don't know how and why Aloy exists. We don't know for sure. My, my pet theory here about, about what, what I'm calling the, the arc. Um, <laughs> the cradle of life. Um, we don't know for sure that that theory is correct. Um, I'm at this point, I'm like 95% positive that I've gotten it about 95% right. Honestly, I'm pretty confident. I wasn't prior to this because there were some things that didn't quite make sense. Um, yeah, Austin, that's what I was thinking too. I just thought it was just petty. I didn't think it was, um, specifically to try to bait her into coming here. Um, that, that he's basically trying to, trying to shut down her company, trying to stop her from making things that aren't for him. Um, but yeah, like prior to this big info dump, I was like, this is my pet theory, but it's not actually, uh, not actually, um, confirmed in any way, but I feel like, um, it's very likely at this point. So I'm more confident in it than I was before. I'm still calling it my pet theory because there's a possibility that I, um, I am mistaken, uh, but I'm pretty confident. In fact, I would say I'm downright cocky about, about that, <laughs> but, but you've all seen my work as I piece that together. So you can be positive that it is not me cheating <laughs> if it is correct. And if it's not correct, well, at least, you know, that I put some thought into it. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty positive about that. Um, and so things, things, 
mini golfing update on the, the the pieces that we that we know and the things that Lauren has thoughts about. Oh, we're just gonna scroll around on the screen because we can. Um, so thing is, okay, we know how the world ended. That's been confirmed. Yes, we don't know for sure how it was saved. Although I'm very confident that most of what I have in my head, that most of what I've, I've built for you folks, I'm pretty confident. If I'm if I'm totally wrong. Like, I will laugh so hard at myself because I'm so confident that I've gotten at least a substantial baseline of it correct. Um, but we don't know for sure how the world was saved. I think we do. And we don't know what is making things bad again, for sure, or what brought Aloy back. I want to I want to say a few things on that subject. So thank you, actually, for uh, for prompting me to say that. I don't remember who was it that, that, said, that, that said something to prompt this. Um, but... Uh, yeah, Marcus, that's what I assumed as well. Um, but the thing is, Aloy is some unspecified teen's age, I think. What is she? Did we decide she was like 18? Do they? Did, I don't know that they say for sure. But she's somewhere in the vicinity of between the ages of 15 and 20, I think. It's safe to say. Um, so there's a couple of things that kind of seem like they coincide with that. Oh, she's 19, okay. Um, there's a lot of, of, there's things that like happened at some point in the past and we don't have an exact date on them. Uh, it's not coincidental that this is the data point that I have stopped on to talk about this. So there's a few things that coincide potentially with, um, with Aloy's birth or are close to it that perhaps they came before and her birth was as a reaction to it, or it may be that her birth was what happened and then they were a reaction to her birth. So it could go one way or the other at this point, I'm not sure, but I believe there is a, a correlation, even if I cannot determine what the causation would be. Um, is that correct? Am I saying this right? So the derangement is our peaceful robots that have been out there for a long time have started going crazy and attacking people and things. Um, and there's been new creatures that have been created. So there's also a couple of things that also are worth mentioning before we dive into this. I'm sorry. I want to also talk about characters and I also want to talk about story and stuff, but I, I want to, I want to finish mini golfing first. Is that all right? I'm sorry. It's going to take us a little bit before we dive into this, this, this properly. Um, so, uh, so there's the derangement, right? Which is the monsters turn bad and we start seeing worse monsters. <clears throat> Another thing that occurs is, uh, where is it? Here, the mad sun king. So thing is, thing is, this isn't it, where is it? Matt Sun King. Not Olin's journal. The Sun Kings. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Thing is, if we scroll down through here, we get to Jiron, who in his early years was a strong Sun King defending the Sundom from the encroachment of the other tribes and the derangement of the machines. Okay, so the machines start going deranged while he's not crazy yet but became greatly addled and ordered the spilling of much blood in the son's name. So Jiron was fine. Jiron was fine. He was a fine king. And then he goes crazy and starts killing people trying to appease the son. Now we know from a load screen, <laughs> I'm sorry folks. I'm sorry, but I take pieces where I get them, I guess. Um, we know from a load screen <clears throat> that at least according to that load screen, so maybe it's mistaken, that corruption, which I thought was purely like a computer virus sort of thing that affects machinery, has an effect on humans, not just poison pain, um, but that it can actually drive them mad, perhaps temporarily. So, do you remember Shortly after we fought the Uwu bringer, um, there was a there was a, a, a cutscene in which Aloy finds a focus belonging to one of the Eclipse 
If you'll recall, the Eclipse are a cult. They are, they are out there doing bad things. They are directly connected to our um, uh, former Sun King, our fallen Sun King. Um, they are his, his leftover, like his, the, his surviving people. Um, so there's an Eclipse focus that Aloy takes and um, Hades and artificial intelligence, as far as we can tell, talks to her through it. Now, she talks about how awful that voice is to listen to, and other people talk about how awful that voice is to listen to. And when we first heard that, I think the con conclusion collectively that we all came to was they're not used to synthesized voices. And if you don't know a synthesized voice, it would sound maybe really jarring and unpleasant. But not enough for somebody to talk about how painful it is to listen to that voice. You know? Like, even a really obnoxious great or a really synthesis like like even I mean it would have to be like basically like a dial up tone or something like that like that level you know that's my impression of, of dial up uh, thank you I'll be here all day um, no uh, the, 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 the voice doesn't sound extraordinarily painful it sounds a bit synthesized and a bit um, like a bit there's like some interference and stuff, but not enough that I would think that everybody commenting on it would be like, wow, this hurts. But we see when Aloy picks it up, we see swirls of red corruption around her when the voice speaks to her and she's in pain. From Hades. Who is some sort of potentially artificial intelligence figure of some sort, but, 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 but a, a being that has a voice that hurts people through corruption, that it corrupts them into madness, perhaps through their focus, and thus controls them and tells them what to do. I don't think it's a stretch to think that perhaps Jiron, the Sun King, had his hands on a focus with the corrupted Hades AI on the other side and that that's what drove him mad and that's continued to drive the Eclipse mad and why they continue to try to do what Jiron tried to do and perhaps Jiron took Hades' like kill everybody mindset and like combined it with his own religious fervor as the Sun King and interpreted it through his understanding of the world as the Sun King um you know, I feel like that's probably what happened. Um, and I'm, I, this is extrapolation. This is definitely mini golfing. I'm making assumptions and then I'm making assumptions based on those assumptions. So I am building a house of cards of sorts here. Um, but sometimes those actually wind up being stable. Um, so the, the derangement of the machines, which could have something to do with Hades and that corruption. Um, although the corruption itself does seem to be separate because the regular enemies that we fight do want to kill us, which would make them deranged, but they are not corrupted unless they have been corrupted and then they become stronger and dripping the red stuff and it's bad and scary. Hold on, I gotta close the door. I don't know exactly what the focus making noise or not making noise is. I don't know if it, I don't know if, it, if you like, if it tells your brain that you're hearing sounds, but your ears aren't actually hearing sounds. I don't know. Maybe they'll answer that or not. Um, but yeah, no, like it makes sense for Jiron to get angry, kill everybody messages from Hades and thinking that that's the sun God speaking to him directly, telling him to kill everybody. Um, or maybe that the Hades is just the yelling and angry and he thinks that the sun god is angry and is like, what can I do to make the sun god not angry with me? Because I'm hearing it through this focus. Like, there's, that's, that's, that's a thing. Um, I don't know that the derangement is caused by Hades and his corruption. I'm using his, he, him pronouns for Hades by default because it's Hades. I don't know if those are correct pronouns. So maybe I shouldn't. But, uh, but I don't know that the derangement is caused by that because there seems to be a difference between deranged, which is default critters that like or de default machines that we're fighting, and the um, 
and the uh, the corruption. So I feel like those are two separate things. But they might be connected, even if they're not the same. But we don't know that. So Hades and his corruption happens after the derangement of the machines has started. I had thought that the derangement of the machines sounded like time-wise it lined up with, um, with Aloy's lifespan. And I think that the... The fallen Sun King happened when Aloy was a child instead of predating her life. Um, so, uh, so I don't know. There's, there's some things that are unknown there, but I want to piece them together. And that just, I wanted you all to know, like, that's kind of where I'm going with this. Like what I'm thinking, what's going through my head, the puzzles that I've been trying to, to, to work through, uh, since we played last week. Um, so Yeah. And I kind of wonder, so here we have a painter who took deathly ill from his own pigments. So somebody like getting poisoned by the thing that they do until they die. Um, corruption. I don't know. It's not quite the same. Um, but, but you know, that may not be just, that may not be a totally random thing. They may have chosen that because it not because it's symbolic, but because it accentuates what, if I'm correct about this, what happened to, um, to Giron. You know, it it, 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 it it has some parallels, so it, 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 it reinforces that. That's what I would do if I were writing that. That would be why that would be what happens to that particular. That's why that there's a there's a Sun King that that happens to. That would be why. Um, yeah. So there's like a lot of things like we don't know, but we do know a fair bit of stuff. Um, and I've also made assumptions that we don't actually know, but that I feel fairly confident in about the 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 Karja leaving the Nora, the Nora being the origin, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll figure this out. There'll be more to get. Um but yeah. There's still a lot of things we don't know. But that's 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 I think that's the last thing I wanted to talk about. I really oh okay. So Part of why I don't feel too bad about being looking for symbolism, girl, is that the characters' names. I didn't make that up. So the really annoying guy who talks and you really don't like him because he's such a pain in the butt. Silence. So I won't forget his name. <laughs> Just like, I'm curious about Nil being named Nil. That's interesting. Um, what did I get? special item what did I get what did I get oh right I got the Rocky Mountain Thunderheads so now I have a complete set here I think these four yes no nil means nothing no and I think that that's not an accident I don't think that I don't think that they're doing a one-to-one -one direct like like I said I don't think that they're being Nathaniel Hawthorne but I don't think that they're being subtle or random either um, man, I should probably go do stuff. Oh, look at that! I blew up a rat. Do you remember when I blew up a rat? I remember when I blew up a rat. Somebody had a pun about that. I don't remember what the pun was, but it existed and it was funny. I feel like I should probably take this, actually. Fighting back would be useful. But I do critical hit a lot. I think I'm going to critical hit. We're gonna critical hit. We just did critical hit. Cool. Excellent. All right. So that is what, sorry, the audio is gonna be really low. That is what we did last time and that's where my brain is now. And I'm sorry that I take so long, but you know. So then the question is, what are we gonna do from here? Well, we got a couple of options. We're not gonna go to the corruption zo corrupted zone level 27. But, uh, I'm going to maybe go around this way, sell some stuff here, and then go try to pick this up. Join Nil, maybe, in this bandit camp, if you folks are willing to sit with me while I do a, while I do a bandit camp, because I know that I'm pretty slow on those. Um, and then we have a whole bunch of quests we could choose from. 
We're not going to go to the ruins of U.S. Robot Command to learn more about Project Zero Dawn. Um, so we th we do we do think that somebody might be reviving those machines, and it is true that um, that the Eclipse do seem like they are they are digging and trying to dig up ancient machines. Um, so uh, so it's a valid concern that they might it, like it, it, it's like a in a it's like it, it'd be like if they like they dug something out of uh, like one of the one of the, the horror scenarios of the um, of the ice uh, melting is that like what if like some like disease thing is like released that people in the world no nobody has any immunity to and and then we all die or stuff like that. Like you un unearth something that can just destroy everything, and there's no natural defenses against it, so you're you're kind of stuck. Um, it's a reasonable assumption that that might be what's happening. So these two are both equal level. We have when it comes to big story plot things, we have the possibility that Meridian's gonna get blown up. Because the thing is, if there are game developers in the world who would put a ton of time and attention into building a carefully crafted, extremely elaborate city, and then destroy it partway through the game. Because we would assume that it's safe because of the amount of resources that would go into making that, <clears throat> and they want to throw you off that way. If there's anyone who would do that, I would believe it of this team. So I'm not... I am not uh, convinced that Meridian isn't going to fall if we do this, <clears throat> especially because it's got such an ominous sounding name. So I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. So I'm kind of hesitant to potentially watch Meridian get destroyed. So both of these are on level, which means that it's not like one is uh, uh, ahead of the other. Um, but yeah, I, I do want to go and do this. And I do also want to go and do this. Um, but I think we're going to do some side quests. So we could do Fatal Inheritance. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, we, we could... We could keep this quest. I'm not doing that one. I don't have enough power cells to get my Mewtwo armor. So really our options here are our fatal inheritance um, and robbing the rich, which we'll turn in when we go to Meridian and, and, and see what happens there. So we could work our way down to fatal inheritance. Oops, wrong way. Um, and along the way, because I believe that is down. Okay, we'll do this. I believe, wow, that's like down, wait, it's, isn't that like way down there it is. It's way down there. It's a vantage point. There's another cauldron. There's another tall neck I haven't done. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff we could do. But we could go help Nil. No, I think I need two. I think I need a total of three power cells. Uh, quests. Oh, that's right. There's also the bandit camp. Oh, I haven't gotten that. I didn't talk to Nil. Okay, well. We're gonna uh, go this way, shall we? So there's these tanks here. And it's interesting to look at the world around me. Now that I have so much more context for it. And be like, okay, well, what were these tanks doing? Because I thought these tanks were to fight basically what's the swarm and maybe they were but uh they wouldn't have had much of a chance ancient debris okay let me make sure i'm going the right way uh we might as well go this way and try to go sell stuff there's a guy to sell stuff too hold on just taking a look over here there's the chargers so everything is as it should be. So when Aloy sees the Horus one, I believe it is, she calls it the Metal Devil. And like that, I, th I think I think that's the one, and that's the one that I thought seemed like a seemed like a. Um, What's the word? Like a cauldron. It sounded like a cauldron, but like it could move around. Hello, buddies. See, like they're doing a thing. 
And I've been trying to figure out what it is that they're doing. Oh, good. It's a fire chocobo. Hello, fire chocobo. They just shoot because they can. No, it's one out of three for the second set that I'm trying to trying to get. God. Okay, if I... Oh, there's two of them. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, maybe we're not going to go this way. Maybe we're not going to go this way. Maybe we'll just go this way. Sorry. Oh, my God. Never mind. Oh, my God. I'm second guessing everything that I'm doing. I don't want to have to fight those guys or these guys. I don't want to fight anything. I'm gonna not do this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go the long way. How does that sound, folks? We all right with that? Taking a slightly long way around. See what happens. This is a snowstorm. So we're up in Utah right now, which has actual mountains and actual snow. I have a friend who, uh, who before I moved, when I first moved up to Pennsylvania, so when I first moved up to a place that was in the north, what we could call the north, um, uh, a friend who had actually lived in the mountains in Utah for a while was the one who helped me get boots for snow and things like that. Yeah, see, there's all these tanks. It's interesting, these tanks have been around for an awfully long time. Because we know it's been about a thousand years. Like, we actually have an idea of how long it's been. Which is interesting to me. Alright, we're going to creep this way. Hopefully not wind up dying. If we go the long way. Thanks for the memories. Thanks, Chrono. Oh my goodness. Alright, so here we go. Gonna sneak through here. What's this? Shock wax root. No, I need medicinal healing. That's what I need. I want to be able to override the long legs. Can I override the long legs? I don't think I can yet. What? Where am I? What is this? Ah. Uh, well, what if I go this way? Very carefully. Go this way. We're good. There's going to be somebody that I can sell stuff to. Oh, look at this. What is this blue thing? What is this? Oh, supply crate. Luminous braiding, huh? Oh, jeez. What if I just don't fight you guys? Can I just not fight you guys? I just don't want to fight you guys. Yeah, maybe I just won't. Maybe I just won't fight them. I just won't. I won't do it. How is there a person to sell things to there? Okay, we're gonna do this. Yeah, okay, they didn't hear me. Good. Excellent. That was that was nice and easy. Do 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 Oh, medicinal wild ember, I need you. I'll tuck that away. Cause I used up all of my healing. Fighting things that were scary. All right, we are quite close, actually. What are you? You're big. Oh my god, it's another one of those guys. Oh my god, no, stop, 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 stop. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, look at this, there's a bridge that I could have followed. Campfire, where? Oh, it's right over here, okay, hold on. We're gonna do this. Yeah, I think you're just supposed to ignore the merchants and accept that they are just a, just a, therefore, gameplay convenience. Oh, hello, what are you again? Uh, I was not expecting that to pop up here. Good night, Blue Glass. Well, thank you for joining us. I hope you sleep well. All right, folks, see what the behemoth is. It's a moose. It's a moose. I think it's a moose. I don't know though, it's really pig looking. Like it looks like a pig in build, but I think it's a moose. Cause it's got not piggy look. Oh, it could be a rhino. Oh, it could be a rhino. 
All right, what has he got? I just the the things, like the, the things that point up, kind of look like like ant antlers. Yeah, I know you're right. A moose would have longer longer legs. Could be a rhino. Could be a boar. It does look piggy. It does look very piggy to me. All right, so it is crate holders. There's a cargo container, freeze canister, force loader, lifting attacks. Does it pick you up and throw you? That would suck. Power. S no, that's not right. That's not what I meant to do. Do I have to fight a behemoth to get the Mewtwo armor? I think I probably, I think I might have to. I don't, I don't like that. It's definitely a piggy. It's definitely a piggy. It just, it had, it had horn thingies. And I thought that those were antlers, but they're not. Loot. Oh, maybe, but you can't, you can't get it. You can't loot it. No, you can't loot these, right? Yeah. These you can't loot. So no, you can't loot its power cell. No. Okay. Sorry. I had to check that though. Well, I think I might just not fight the behemoth. That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Just don't fight it. Just, just don't fight the behemoth. You can loot the loot crate. Yeah. Yeah, no, pigs are scary because like the thing is like a regular pig turn wild. Like you let a pig go, like you just like let a pig out and it turns into a boar and they just keep getting bigger. They're really, really, really scary. Like pigs are really not to be messed with. They are, they are legitimately do not mess with piggies. Like seriously. Like you don't think that they're going to be on the don't mess with me list, but they are. You know, like you're like rhino, rhino on a, on a, on a don't mess with me piggy or, or, or rhino on a don't mess with me list. Like that makes sense, you know, but, uh, but you don't think of a pig, but you should think of a pig, you know, you should think of a pig as being a thing that you don't mess with. What we got? Broadheads. Destroyed Watcher. God, you're so big. There's just one of you. You got some other friends. But yeah, so pigs are bad news and don't mess with them. Just, just, just really don't do it. Generally don't do it. It's not a good idea. Do I need to get wire? Am I low on wire? Cause I'm gonna need that. Unless you folks want to, want to see me go through what would happen if I don't stealth my way through one of these. Yeah. Well, there's like, there's like the general, general, generally speaking, don't fight animals. Generally speaking, they have lots of things that you that you don't have to keep them alive. Um. But uh. Hello. What are you? broadhead okay um but there are animals that are more on the don't mess with me list and uh those are the ones that i put on the list those are the ones that i mentioned being on the list and the don't mess with me list is the uh, censored name for the list it is a list that i have maintained for years and so sometimes i'll be like oh i didn't know that that animal should absolutely be on this list <laughs> Not so bad. This is interesting landscape. It's very different. Of course, they destroy things. I have good life advice. I give good life advice. Don't mess with animals. Yes, yeah, sorry. I hadn't figured out how to uh, how to make it so everybody can add quotes. So for now, the mods are going to have to do it. But fortunately, we have mods on hand, so you can just request. Where is Nil? Where is he? Because I want to further my Nil storyline. He's around here somewhere. Where are you, buddy? 
Wait, what's going on? That's, that looks like those are corrupted. They're red to begin with. Unless they're fighting somebody. Are they fighting somebody? Who are they fighting? Generally speaking, if you see wild animals, like, in battle, you should probably not approach them. It's generally speaking a bad idea. Who's... What is going on over there? Oh. Looks like some cars have died. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, buddies. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, okay, that happened. Just to remind you that these critters are scary. But you can sometimes take them because other people have uh, have softened them up a little bit for you. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. Oh, I passed it. Oh, no, I want to be there. Because I wanted to try to find Nil again. I don't remember where Nil is. Oh, look at that. There's all these campfires that I can teleport to now. Yay! Excellent. Do I have enough wire to make arrows? Uh, yeah, actually, I've got a fair bit of wire, so we're good. Alright. Oh, hello, piggy. That is a piggy that it's safe to mess with. So it's just a matter of time before it goes goes feral. No, feral piggies are not to not to be trifled with. Oh, look at that. I'm getting wire. I have 200 wire. Good. Okay. We can continue. Let us continue and try to find where is that? Where is that friend? Where is he? Nil? Where is Nil? <sighs> I'm going the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna go this way and see if we can find Nil. Okay. Because I want to get Nil before I do this quest. That feels like a good idea, you know? Doesn't it? I think it's a good idea. I wonder what's up here. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Oh! Why am I going the wrong way? How do I keep going the wrong way? I shouldn't do that. There's a... creatures. What is that? Different quests selected. No, that's true. But I wasn't going toward. I didn't think I was going toward my quest. I thought I was going toward. Well, we're gonna go bandit camp here. Kill the bandits and liberate the settlement. All right. But where is Nil? Because I gotta find him first. Is that a campfire, or is that just a thing that's just on fire? It's just a thing that's just on fire. No, maybe it's a campfire, but I'm too far away. Uh, I should probably figure out what I'm doing. Where is the thing I'm going? There's shattered, shattered kiln. Okay, I totally went the wrong way. On the other hand, on the other hand, this going th from this side will mean that I pass by where I was last time, where I ran into Nil. So, we're good. We're good, and maybe I'll get a little bit of healing stuff while we're down here. These look like healing things, don't they? Yeah. All right. Sorry, folks. So I've been thinking about making a, a best of, like, basically taking my first few streams of, um, of Horizon Zero Dawn, and I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but I've been thinking about trying to cut them into shorter videos or cutting them down into one video that has a bunch of them consolidated and just cutting out the parts where I'm just wandering around lost like this. Um, because it took me a while to figure out how to play that game or the, how to play this game. And I feel like that's, um, I feel like it might be easier for people to catch up if they had like a best of thing so oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot shoot what was that what even saw me what thought it saw me charger okay there's literally nothing to see there he is no nope, that's a boar never mind that is not nil nil is not a boar 
Where is Nil? I don't remember, but I gotta go find him. So let's go find him. Let's see if we can find him. I feel like I crossed this. I found him. Somewhere around here. Do you folks mind if we do this? If we do a, a Nil quest? Where is he? Where was he? Is that him? I think that's him. Alright, let's go get him. Let's go get Nil. Standing up there all ominously on his hill. Nil's hill. Where I climb Nil's hill. I'm gonna go talk to Nil. Nil, you gonna give me your cookie recipe? Nil, wait, oh my god, Chrono, you're on top of things. Alright, Nil, let's talk to Nil. I waited for you. Time passing pulls the anticipation tight as wire. Oh, Nil, you are oh, weird. How many has it been now? Uh, I don't keep count, Nil. <laughs> don't keep count? Sometimes I just don't get you. Are you like us or a little different? Not like you. Hopefully a little different. <laughs> mm, that's what you're gonna tell yourself. Shall we get started? <sighs> okay, there we go. All right. Quest accepted. We do this. We go in here. We kill some bandits. Yes, he did say wire. All right. Let us gather up some stuff here. And then go fight some dudes. What have we got here? I could try to... Is there something in the way? Actually, what, what bow do I have equipped? I've got the right one equipped. Okay, hold on. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Sorry, folks. But apparently this is what I do. All right. All right. We just gotta drop the ones that you can. And then keep going and you drop the next ones that you can. That's how it goes. I want that person to come back around here because I think I can't get to them. So I feel like the AI was smarter with the Eclipse that we were facing in Maker's End. Can I hit this guy from here? Okay, hold on. We're going to try this again. Oh, shoot. Nothing to see here, buddy. He's like, huh? Oh, that's their leader. Oh. Oh, I don't think I want that. I don't think I want that. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that guy. He's looking over here. Nothing to see here, buddy. Literally nothing to see here. He's like, huh? Nah, it's all good. Okay. Let's see. What else are we going to do? I think that this guy walks. Okay, highlight his track. This button. I think, yeah, he'll come back in view. There's that other guy. Look, hey, buddy. What's up, man? Not much, man, you? Yeah, not much. I feel like somebody came here, anyway. I thought there was somebody that came in view. Is it you? That, like... Hmm. Maybe I should actually get closer. I'm gonna get this medicinal thing here. Figure it out. Uh, let's see, buddy. Hey, no. Nell's like yo. All right, we're gonna we're gonna be down here. Can't be seen. Oh, look at that! Hello. Can anybody see you? Okay, 
he's dead. That's good. It's off to a good start. So far we haven't been caught. Oh, there's, there's another dude over there. All right, we're gonna keep doing this. Let's see if that guy's gonna come within view here, if I can drop him too. Oh shoot. That guy's dead. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Can they see me? They can see me, they can see me, they can see me. They can see me. Run, 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 run. Okay, here we go. Now I'm out of sight. Okay. So it does seem like they can see if like they they see the area where you were. Okay, so that guy's coming out here. He's gonna go look to where he thinks they were. Or maybe not. Maybe he's coming up here. Is he gonna come up here? What are you doing, buddy? What are you gonna do, buddy? You're gonna lose interest in me? They're leaving. Good. Alright. I feel like... I feel like I should maybe be less... I feel like I should maybe be less. Um, what's the word? Oh, you know what? I'm not wearing my uh my my stealth gear. Hold on. Let me put on my stealth gear. Why am I not wearing my stealth gear? I should do that. I need to get better stealth gear. Well, I feel like I should be less super cautious like this, you know. Like, I feel like I should be more willing to take a risk. I was worried about a second boss. That's true. Especially because they give you stuff as you go up there. But presumably they give you stuff because they, uh, they recognize that the, uh, Uwu bringer was really hard. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Can I, can I shoot somebody from here? I can. Probably not my best idea, but... Oh, that's a... That guy's another boss. Nothing to see here. Must have been the wind. I love that they literally say that. Let's see if... Well, if that guy comes out here... I hope he does and doesn't bring his friend with him. You gonna come out here, buddy? You gonna come check on me? Because I will absolutely shoot you in the face. Or silent kill you. I can silent kill you. I can stealth kill you. Let's see. Is there anyone else I can get from here? Because that guy I absolutely did not. Um, I feel like there is... Yeah. I figured there was a... My goodness. Alright. Alright. Yeah, Stealth Archer is kind of what I do, for better or for worse. That person's going really fast. Where are you going? Elite Bandit Archer. I want to shoot you then before you can shoot me. There's got to be a way to do this. Right, we're going to do this. We're going to go over here. I think I'll get a better shot from here. Hold on. All right. Come on. Why are you not in your archer spot? Go in your archer spot. Jeez. Go on. Go up to your archer spot. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This archer's going to drive me crazy. This archer's going to drive me crazy. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Hold on. Maybe if I throw a rock. Hold on. Okay. Go on. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. They can see me again. Hold on. 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 Okay. Yeah, so once they once they get a sense for you in a particular place. Ah! 
Oh shoot, they can see me again. Shoot, 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 shoot. Run over here and hide. At least I assume that's what's going on there. I don't know for sure. I don't know. Come on, somebody come out here. Somebody come on. God, their entire little camp is like, look at this, they're all looking. They're all like, huh? All right. What's going on? Eh, no big deal. All good. All right. Okay. We'll sneak back through here. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got another archer up there from the looks of it, maybe. Braids will take forever to dry. Okay, Aloy. What do you got? Oh, a health potion that I can't carry. Okay, I need to remember that health potions exist. All right, so there's gotta be someone here. There's gotta be someone here that I could take out, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there doesn't actually gotta be somebody that I could take out here. This looks like healing, yeah, healing. All right, this looks like a good spot. Is this my rock? Yeah, that's my rock. All right. What am I going to do here? What am I going to do here? Can I get up on these things? I feel like that'd be a bad idea. Okay. When you come back, if you come back this way, which I don't know if you will. I think you're the only one I have to worry about on this area right here. I think. They are elite, which indicates that they're probably going to be a little bit harder to fight. A lot of them seem to be elite. This seems to be a cut above your average bandits. Oh, this bandit right there. It's a bandit archer. They don't just stand still. Much to my dismay. Hmm. Get back here. Stop moonwalking, buddy. Get back here. You're going to come here? You're going to come here, aren't you? Come here! Oh my god. Come on, okay. Are you not coming? Oh my god, it's like he's just taunting me. He's just taunting me. I'm not here. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, here we go. Okay, invisible, invisible, invisible. See if he comes out here. Come on, buddy. Come on. You want to come investigate, don't you? Don't you? Nobody else seems to have noticed, so maybe I can... Maybe I can get you. He's like, huh? Where'd they, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Must have been the wind. Are you going to come here? Are you going to come here? Yeah, he's going to come here. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. How inconsiderate these folks are. Is he going Finally. away? He's going away? Or is he coming here? going away. What are you doing? Okay, he went back. Okay, cool. Well, we're gonna just go finish what we started then. We're gonna take him out. Somehow. Somehow. Uh, let's see. Probably not my best idea. Where are, you? Where are you, buddy? You're around there. Okay, cool. Can I see you? Can I see your head? Yes, I can. Oops. That's not good. Come on, buddy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Why aren't you coming here, buddy? Oh my god. I messed up, didn't I? Come on, buddy. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. He's just killing time. Instead of getting killed by me. What's up with that, man? There we go. Okay. Whew. Okay. Excellent. I'm actually, I'm actually getting in there. I'm actually going and fighting dudes. I'm being fear fearless, bravely 
stealthing bravely. All right, just trying to see what's going on over here. I could just run in guns blazing. But I feel like that would be a bad idea. I feel like that'd be a very bad idea. So I won't be doing that, I don't think. But let's see. I can, I can, I can, I think I can go a little bit this way. Cause like, if you like take out a bunch of them, Hello, no. Yeah. Oh, hello. We take out a bunch of them. To make your life easier. When they do finally, eventually, try to fight you. Okay, so you're going that way. Okay, cool. Is there somebody over here? Yeah, there is. Oh, somebody with a heavy gun. Cool. Alright. That's good to know. Somebody with a heavy gun right up there. Yeah, that's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. I'm gonna die. I don't know that I'm actually gonna die. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Right there, huh? Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Aloy. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Alright, if I'd aimed it a bit better, I could have taken that guy out by himself, but in that one shot, but I didn't. But that's okay, because I'll take him out in the second one. And then I'll have his gun, and then I could just go shoot everybody with his gun. I don't move very fast with his gun, though. Alright, so he's running around like, where'd you go? You're giving up. What's she doing? They're like, well, must have been the wind. Oh, there's the alarm. We don't want that. We don't want that. Okay, hold on. We're going to go back and do this. Sorry, folks. I, I worry that these are not very exciting to watch me play. Um, but, uh... I don't know. They're, I feel like they're pretty exciting to play, at least. Man. Thanks, Chrono. I appreciate your, uh, your vote of confidence here. Let's see, what do we got? I guess I can gather some ridge wood. I've got plenty though. Get 846 ridge woods. I could set them all on fire. I have like a lot of different things that I could use at this point. Okay, hold on, hold on. No. No, get out of the way. No, get out of the way. There's there's guys coming. No. Where are you going? Did I mess with their track? So he'll be coming out this way then, from the looks of it. I think. Okay, hold on. I'm having some trouble. Having some trouble. Maybe if I get up here? This could be a sniper spot. Yeah, this, this could be a sniper spot. I think this is going to be a sniper spot. What do we think? He's coming. He's coming around. He's got his other friend there. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that worked. Cool. Excellent. Good job, me. All right. Okay, hold on. Somebody's coming around here. Shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Somebody thinks they see me. They're still looking. There's nothing to see. There's nothing to see. Oh my god. There's nothing to see here, folks. Nothing at all to see here. Nope. 
I'm sorry that I keep doing this, but this is what we're doing. So we'll just hang out here. See if anyone comes. Come on, somebody should come out here. Come on. Surely. Like, somebody's picking off our guys. Maybe we should do something about it. We got a warrior. No one here. We got some warriors. We got a bunch of dudes. This one's okay. There we go. All right, no more, no more questions. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Okay. Well, we're making some progress. Slowly working our way through these guys. Doing okay. Let's see. At least I'm a lot faster than I was the first, the first bandit camp. All right, let's see you. Can I shoot you from here? Okay. All right. I just killed a dude. The dude's like, huh? Oh, there's a bunch of them and they're wondering. Okay. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. We're just gonna run back into our little spot and we're just gonna hang out there. Just wash away the scent for now. All right, I'm now out of sight. Soon we'll be maybe out of mind. At least I think I'm out of sight, yeah, I'm out of sight. There's a dude over there who's investigating. It's a bunch of question marks. It's a whole bunch of question marks. Yes, nil. Wait, did the question marks go away? It appears that they did. Looks like we're safe. Okay, excellent. Maybe. I should take out some of the guys this way. This is kind of a strange bandit camp. Like, like I'm just trying to figure out what this place is or was, you know? Elite bandit archer, huh? If I get up here, I, I might be able to snipe more guys. How do I get up here, though? Without making noise. Oh, I just, I pushed that character to her death. I did not realize you could do that. Okay, well, that happened. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. That was exciting! Uh, look, I'm keeping life interesting for everybody, including Aloy and Nil and that lady who I just kicked off a cliff. Did she die? There's a lot of question marks. Like, that was a lot of question marks. Oh, I should probably heal. Shouldn't I? Alright, so I guess we'll go back up here to the uh, stealth spot. And we'll go shoot some guys from the stealth spot. I actually don't know if this is the stealth spot, but it's, it's, the, it's, it's a good sniper spot. What do I got? All right, who's who's around that I can maybe get to? Shattered Kiln is what this place is called, and I can actually see that because it definitely looks like something has shattered up here, you know? Like, it's twisted and weird, and I just don't know what it was. It looks to me like it was something like pre, pre, -mo like, like pre-apocalypse, I think. But I don't know for sure. It's interesting though. All right, there's a buddy right there. It's like moonwalking. Did, you, did your AI get confused? It did, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm going in. 
Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh shoot! Oh, that's nil. Okay, hold on. Where are the rest of them? Did they get confused? I think they did. She got up. Okay, hold on. Oh, shoot. That's my heart. It's always said. Patience. Alright. That, that appears to have worked. Again. So we're gonna go back up there. Oh my god, folks. I'm sorry. One of these days, I might be less stealth focused. But, uh, today's not that day. It's not, I'm not entirely stealth focused. I have done some fighting. Bandit slugger, huh? Does he punch you? Huh. Alright, so if I'm up here, I can pick them off. Uh, hmm. It's gonna make the looting process less annoying next time around. Okay. The music has not stopped being intense. Darn it. That guy's dropped. Well, so we got, oh, that guy's like, huh? Oh, shoot. Okay, that guy's down. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. They see me, they see me. I'm gonna do my exact same tactic that I've done this whole time. Very effectively. Oh, look at that. Get some healing items and then go down into the uh, grass. Come on. Good job, Ailey. All right. Nothing to see here, buddy. Although, if you guys wanted to come out here and fight me, I'd be happy to fight you. I'm glad that Nil doesn't mess my, uh, my camouflage up. It's very nice of him. All right. Okay. All right. I'm just going to keep doing this. Okay, well, the music actually got unscary that time around, so that's good. All right, so we've got three guys over there, a couple of, like a guy over there. All right, bit by bit, bit by bit, we'll pick them off. Oh, look at that! There's some more healing items, and don't oh, shoot. You falling asleep? That guy's down. Okay, cool, excellent. I think it's probably what I'm supposed to do. Yes, that would have been very frustrating, but that, I wouldn't put it past video games to make that happen, you know? We'll just take this one, this guy right here. There's a red thing over there. Oh, it's the, the alert. Well, what's this? What is this? What do we got? Ancient debris, ancient ring, I cool. Set up an alarm. Don't want them to use it. That's true. No, we don't want them to use it. Uh, let's get some more healing. And then we're gonna sneak through here, maybe? Is there a dude here that I could fight? Stealth, stealthily stealth? Is there a dude I could stealthily stealth there? Yeah. There's a bandit marksman. And another bandit marksman. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to figure out what I can walk on and what I can't. And I'm clipping through things, which is not the best thing that's ever happened. Did I make noise? Okay, hold on, we're gonna go through here. Okay. All right. Uh, there's some dudes there. I think there's just, are those two the only ones left? Can 
might be the only ones left. Oh, that's a fire cylinder. That's not what I need. Okay, hold on. Oh, hello. Good thing I didn't uh, accidentally give myself away fighting you. Okay, you're down. Oh, I should probably make more arrows. Okay. Then there's a couple more. Oh, there's somebody else right there. Actually, I should be prepared. I should be prepared. Be hidden. Hello. Uh, hold on. Let's get the rock out here. No. Quietly. Come here. Okay. There we go. That's another one down. What else have we got? Who else have we got? We got, I think, that one. Oh, and a weapon, a fire spitter. That was the bandit heavy. Okay, so I think that's just the one guy left. Is that just she was seriously just the one guy left? Because if so, I might as well just go in and find him. Yeah, it looks like it's just it's just you, buddy. It's just you. You're the only one. You're the only one. Where are you? Can I deactivate this? Oops. Okay, so there's the alarm destroyed. Not that it really matters. I won't be setting this off. Because they're all gone, but I feel better this way. Alright, so there's just the one just the one dude. Alright, just the one dude. Hello, just the one dude. Come here. He's like, huh? Show your face. Hold on. Go on. Go on. Uh, there we go. Is that not everyone? Oh, that is everyone. Okay. Hey, that was pretty fast, wasn't it, for me? I didn't have to rescue people. I don't know if there were people here. All right. Well, there's people here now. So that's exciting. All right. Let's sell some of our junk. Okay. Sell. Mark to sell. Do I have any more of those things that are... Here we go. Yeah. I think I did pretty well. Like, I'm still kind of slow, to be sure. I am still a slow person, but, uh, but I do okay, I think. I think I did pretty well. Like, I actually probably could have actually taken them more, uh, okay, hold on. Wow, there's like a lot of this random stuff that I've got that I can sell. Wow, I have gotten a whole lot of useless stuff, haven't I? Okay, the machine cores are only for selling. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna sell marked items. There we go. Okay, God, I've got a lot of money. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh man. Well, that was exciting. Ancient de debris. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh. I got st the Sterling Malkite. Interesting. Oh, so now I've got two full sets of these. I don't know if that was a total stealth focus because I did wind up fighting close range. These are interesting little, like, huts. I wonder what those huts are for. I wonder what this place is for, honestly. Blasted Shadow Karja murdered the captain of the Vanguard. Yes, they're already yelling about the... Like, it doesn't register that they're not in a city. Truly, born on a sunless day, one disaster after another. Those huts were cages? Maybe so. Keeping people ha captive. So I'll need to go turn this into nil. Corruption spreads. More sunless days are coming. Sunless days are coming. Oh, you know what? There weren't any dudes in little huts this time around. Man. They sure do have a lot of junk. Like, this place is really junky. 
There's a lot of healing items. Hello, Karja Villager. Just trying to loot. Shadow Karja did to Captain Ursa wasn't right. No. Oh my god. Right, I forgot. Racism is bad. But it happens. Oh, there's a rock. You just, like, carry one of those giant guns with you everywhere. I mean, you can't, actually. Like, even, I, I suspect, even with the, like, be yeah, faster space. thing. What can I not pick up? Oh, the health potion. Okay, I really do need to use health potions more than I do, you know? I'm not very good at that. This is green or yellow okay wow this is a whole bunch of stuff to sell okay well i guess i guess i'll go and sell it in a minute i'm just oh hello cars guard okay good well i'm glad to know that they acknowledged that i did this i saved the day who are you I don't know. I guess you're not in it. Not somebody. So this, this, this is a kiln that, like, they call this a kiln, and it's definitely been shattered. You know, like looking around at it. Oh, it's a drum up here. I guess probably to call for help. But you can see it's like it's concrete with metal in it. I don't remember what is that reinforced concrete? Like, is that what that's called? Because that's a thing from from our modern contemporary world. They wouldn't have, they wouldn't make it at this, in, like in in Aloy's time. And so this is clearly a pre-apocalyptic place. Um, where's stuff? Oops, wrong button. Have I gotten? Uh, well. Oops, <sighs> took some damage, not much though. Is this a guy that, okay, can't take potions. Um. But I feel like I've done a pretty good job of getting stuff, but there's apparently still more stuff in here. Oh, I don't think you can loot this until you've defeated it. Oh, wow. There sure is a lot of stuff in here. Who are you worried about, Aloy? I, here we go. Elite bandit archer. Oh my God, that archer clipped the wall. That must be the person that fell that I accidentally knocked off. Oops. All right. Oh! Those were cages. Okay. Because I knew that there were cages in previous fights, but when I when I looked around here, I didn't see... Um, like, when I was scanning, I didn't see cage, like, people being locked up. So I didn't realize that that, was, that could happen. That's Looks interesting. Like clear. What did she think? Saw her? I guess something. Something heard the noise that I made. Or something. I don't know. I mean, I'm just jumping around. So. They've all got... I guess I guess I should maybe have... I should maybe use traps. I should maybe use traps and then set, set them and then throw rocks to get the bad guys to go into them. Alright. Well, I think I've done a pretty decent job of finding all of the loot. That was a lot of loot. It's a lot of loot. I have no idea what this was. They call it a kiln, which is where you fire um, clay or, or things. And like this, like what is that? I wanna climb it, you know? Don't you wanna climb it? Don't you wanna see what it is? Don't you wanna see what it is? But it's not a vantage point. It wouldn't be a vantage point. In fact, I don't even think you can climb it. Let's find out. Is there a thing for, I don't, like, I don't see yellow. I think it's just for show. But I want to go up there. But I don't think I can. But what was this? <sighs> I'm getting stuck in the wall. Oh my god, sorry. Did I get stuck? Do I have to, I might have to teleport. A steeple and tall windows. Okay, we managed to get out of there without dying. Good. Excellent. Hello, buddy. The thing is, I don't know if that looks like a steeple. Move along now. What does she think keeps seeing her? Because I'm not seeing anything on the radar. What is this though? Because it's like it's so weirdly, so weirdly shaped, really weirdly constructed. 
I wonder if I can go inside of it? Not here. Here's where they kept their stuff. But like, what was this place? I don't know and I want to figure it out. Or have a guess. Yeah, so she thinks something is seeing her, her or hearing her because she keeps commenting on that. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it could be glitched dialogue. That's true. I definitely glitched out um, the, uh, like, putting people on alert a couple of times. Yeah, like, what... Like, what were the, what was this? Like, you're saying these, this might be a church. It's got a very distinctive pattern on the walls here. That the, like, those shapes. The, like, archy type looking thing. I don't know if it seems churchy. Shattered Kiln is such a good name. All right. And of course we've got our bad guy's house, which is not. I don't know. Let's sell the stuff that we got. Next, I'll be running along. Okay, sell resources. Sell, 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 oh, sell. What else is there? Sorry. So I know that Meridian itself can't completely get destroyed unless they relocate the people that you sell stuff to, special stuff, which I assume they, I mean, they would do that and they could do that, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like some of Meridian is going to survive if it gets blown up. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Man, this is just a lot of stuff. Wow. So much stuff. Wow. It's got an M. I wonder what the M. If it's like... Because you got the, 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 the T, 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 and then an M. Because not Sterling Malkeet. Because that's got two letters. Have I been back recently? No, I have not. Because I don't want the plot to progress. Big plot stuff. Wow, I'm making a lot of money off of this stuff. Let's see, where is Nil? So I can turn this into Send him. Willing. Avad will cleanse the land of this growing corruption. Yeah. I heard that yes, yes, yes. Everyone's going on and on about slight racism. Just a little bit of racism. Small racism, not big racism. Hello, have I already fought you? Got your stuff? No room. Yeah, I need to remember to use healing potions more often. I'm not very good at that. All right, we'll get this, and then I guess we'll go out and turn it in and have another meaningful conversation with uh, everybody's boyfriend. Where is he? He is out the front this way. Okay, we can do this. All right. I actually have water this time, folks, for everyone who's... So if you missed it, I was streamed last night, like late last night. I did some art. I drew some gay mergirls for, for a mermaid. And uh, folks were trying to get me to drink water. And I did not have a cup, so they complained about that by spamming the water drinking. So I'm going to drink some water now, because I can. You should also drink water. Hydration is important. All right, let's talk to Nil. See what he has to say. These little moments are refreshing, aren't they? Oh, no. That could be the least creepy thing <laughs> you've said to me. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> That glimpse of yourself in their eyes just as the cloud of death passes across. I take that back. Never mind. There it goes. <laughs> Thanks, Aloy. Oh my god. I love Aloy so much. She's so great. All right, so the Eclipse? You know, Nil, if you get tired of bandits, there is a group called the Eclipse. That's a political situation. They're murderers, and they're raising an army of machines. That's a little more than politics. Don't hate me for being single-minded. Besides... I wouldn't bet on how long the Shadow Cards are going to last, if you're in for the kill. That's complimentary. That's very nice from Nil. That's a, that's a big, uh, that's a big compliment from Nil. 
Nil is definitely, yes, Nil is very normal. Absolutely normal. The most normal dude that has ever lived. We've come a long way from Norland. Where have you been, Nil? I heard the roads of the Sundom were no longer safe. And thankfully, it was true. Oh my god. Ambushes, raiding parties, even corrupted machines. The mortal wounds just opened themselves to accept my arrows. He's so enthusiastic about this. But you knew this already. You've been walking on the edge of life and death. I can tell. Yeah. It's a long story. With many quick endings. Oh my god, no. That's interesting. I wonder if there's more things you can say to him, depending on what you've gotten in the story. It's interesting because, like, clearly they have fun writing his dialogue. They are super amused with themselves. Like, he's sort of joking. What he says is horrifying. But that's also that's also where the humor comes in. Um, but because of the voice directing being careful, he actually, like, drops, like, from, like, the humor, like, like bravado i like to kill people isn't it fun to be like i mean clearly nil is not going to get aloy and they're not going to sit down and have a serious heart to heart because something in him is too broken and it can't get past that but when he's like you've been walking the road of life and death i can tell like he's not like huh, you've been killing people too i've been killing people look at us killing people like it's just he's kind of like recognizing like it sounds like he's he means something serious when he says that it's interesting it's very interesting um, his dialogue is interestingly written. I feel like I should have more dialogue here. I feel like I've done something wrong, but I suspect it's not. It's just, just how it is. Sometimes you have a lot to say. Sometimes you don't. I always have a lot to say, but I can't count on games being like me. I mean, Zagreus exists, and he's always got a lot to say. But... Yeah, no. I can... No, no. Bravado isn't quite... Isn't the right word. Um... I, I, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say bravado is, is, is actually the word that I mean, but like the way that they've written the dialogue is meant to be like, like, like funny, funny, jokey, play, playful, ha like joke, jokey, like, like, yeah, we're gonna kill a dude. But yes, he does seem legitimately like he, he lacks empathy, which, which, whichever, what, whatever, uh, disorder or term we use to describe people who don't have empathy. I don't know if he lacked empathy or if it got broken in him. But uh, but he does not seem to have it at this point. But at the same time, he does like recognize like like oh Aloy's dealing with the, uh, like Aloy's in a situation that might be hard. I recognize that. So, yeah. Goodbye now. I don't want to alarm you. But the bandits are thinning out. Makes you wish you could kill them more than once, doesn't it? No, once is enough. You're right, of course. Once is enough. When you really make it count. Oh my god, no. Okay, goodbye, Nil. Oh my god. I loved her her actor added an okay to that. Her her actor makes makes like the way that she responds to Nil is great. Like, Aloy is always uncomfortable around him. She's like, uh, all right, yeah, no, 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 we're, we're not, we're not gonna do that. No, no, we're not. All right, what am I gonna want eventually? Oh, concentration plus, that sounds good. Double shot also sounds good. That also sounds good. That also sounds good. All of these are good. What do we got over here? Strike from below, leader strike, strong strike, strong strike plus. I like never do these strikes really, except for like silent strike. I guess I've only got like two of them, but still this one I don't, for all that I like, I'm like max stealth me. I I'm more interested in these. Let's see here, I don't need this. I like the thought of being able to just make one happen rather than having to go in and override one. I should probably get this, shouldn't I? So that I can more efficiently not need to buy as much wire. Summon Pringles! Yes, this is what this button is. Summon Pringles. Every Pringles. Scavenger Plus is good, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, and this stuff I'm sure is great and all, but, uh... Oh, inventory slots. That's nice. That's nice. I didn't see that. 
like all of this mount stuff I'm like uh, I don't really care as much about it forager stuff like I don't really use that these could be useful but if I keep buying wire like I should then I should be fine um, so really I think I might go down the shooting stuff path what special item did I get oh I got the sterling malkite mug all right so we've done that a plus good job us we could go over here and try to get another vantage point or we could teleport around I kind of I kind of want to see what's over there I kind of do I kind of do I know I could go like plot Chat was saying Neil has more dialogue? What? Does he? I don't seem to have the option to talk to him anymore. Unless I did something wrong. Because there was no more dialogue options. Oh my god. Why do these spam likelies keep coming? I don't know. Alright. Well, it does not appear that Nil has more to say. There is a bandit camp I haven't cleared yet. That is correct. There is one more bandit camp that I have not taken out. It is over in a... Uh, it's way here. I haven't taken out two teeth. Oh, and there's another one here. This one right here. Yeah, it's not the main bandit camp. Like, I could go back here. I could take out two teeth. That's really low level. We could go there and then we could come back here and go check out the vantage point there. Huh. How is there a metal flower that I haven't been to? here in that's isn't this Nora land huh but yeah no there's there's two bandit camps that I see that I haven't been to what was that what is that what is that I don't know so I'm going there sorry folks we're just arbitrarily going places because I don't know what that is and I want to figure it out don't you Unless that's like where I'm supposed to. No, it would be marked with a quest. It would be marked with a quest if it was related to a quest. So I'm going to go see what this is and also go get a metal flower. Because I don't think I'm afraid of, I mean, maybe I should be, but I don't think I'm afraid of anything in the embrace right now. Because I'm going back, the way I'm going is to the embrace, right? That's where I'm going, right? The embrace is in there. That's the embrace. Huh. fire damage you take fire damage as long as the fire is going don't be on fire folks you heard it here first I'm full of wisdom I should maybe do the hunting ground stuff at some point okay they can't well no they'd have to relocate okay hold on all right so here what is that I don't know Oh my god. I was supposed to be here m much longer ago. Wasn't I? Well, hopefully I won't go get getting myself killed or anything like that. Alright. Light the campfire. Alright, tutorial. Alright. that how am I gonna get up there what is that it's 
is probably a bad idea. All right, Aloy. Oh, good. She automatically does that. Something's up there. Ah, okay. This sets in quicker than frost. Okay, well, we're going to try this and see what happens. Oh. All right, Aloy. Oh, shoot. That could have gone worse. Could have gone better. All right, get up on the thing. No, drop, don't drop to the ledge. Don't drop to the ledge. Walk on the thing. All right. This looks kind of like the Brave Trails. You know? Doesn't it? There. There we go. Okay. Alright, Aloy. Wow, Aloy. Oh my god, Aloy. I mean, I'm glad that she does this because I would have no idea. Okay. I think this is what I needed to do to get where I'm going. Where is this? Wait, 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 wait. Shoot. I fell into the wall, won't be. There's a there's an invisible wall here. Excuse me? Alright. I'm gonna do this thing that isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, the the grave horde is definitely to think he built all this alone. Oh shoot, what? What is this? Many memories. It's not home anymore. <gasps> not without Ross. Oh no, oh no, oh no. For me here anymore. Oh no, oh no. This is home. This is home. This is home. Oh, this is home. Oh no. God. The way she talks about the way she talks about it, she's talking to herself. She's she's hurting. Oh wow, okay. Wow. We've come a long way, haven't we? Ancient ruins Rost's grave? That's not ancient ruins. Hi, Rost. I'll, uh, I'll just take this off. Don't want him listening in. That's a neat touch. I bet that's not there if you haven't. Frost, I... I can't believe it's taken me so long to visit you. When you said goodbye, I told you I'd find you. Track you down. Well... Looks like you did it after all. <laughs> Went somewhere I can't follow. I should have known you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. Thank you, Rost. I won't waste what you've given me. I promise. I'll make you proud. Elizabeth Sobeck, she... couldn't have been my mother. She was an old one. She lived... ages ago. Still, there is a connection. The hatch... it thought I was her. It's... it's really strange. Somehow... Elizabeth stopped war machines from destroying the world. She couldn't save the civilization of the old ones. That was destroyed, obviously. But life... It survived. She saved life from... being devoured. I need to know how Elizabeth stopped the machines. If I can find the weapon she built and use it, 
The Eclipse won't stand a chance. Speaking of the Eclipse... I think I had a run-in with Hades. I picked up a focus, and... It was like... A cloud, or... Dark swarm of... Something. And its voice... It was terrible. I don't know what Hades is, or, or what it wants, but... It's evil. No other way to describe it. I think the reason why the camera is so jumpy is because she has different things to say based on what you've seen or done in the story. I assume we can come back here and tell him the rest of what's happened. I know where I need to go next. A grave hoard. <laughs> Sounds great, huh? <laughs> Elizabeth went there to hold council with the war chiefs of her tribe, I guess you could say. Maybe the weapon she built. Maybe I can find it there. The killers from the proving. They aren't gonna hurt anyone anymore. I tracked them to Devil's Grief. There was a battle. And we won. Varl, he made an impression. <laughs> Has some major issues, but I like him. Well, from grave to grave hoard. Here I go. I'll uh, try to come back before long. Do you want to tell your parent what's been going on in your life? Especially when they're really, you know, big, big things. And little things like, hey, Ross, I made a friend. Sorry. I just... There's this, this this feeling of the inadequacy of it being his grave that she's talking to, you know? There's this, uh, this absolute sadness with her where she's like, you know, you're, you're still my dad and I need to talk to my dad about what's been going on in my life. You know, even if he's not there, she still needs him. And it's, it's kind of neat hearing her interpretation of things and her explanation of things. And I really, I like that it ended not on her, like, talking about killing bad guys or, or un unraveling mysteries. I like that it ended on, I made a friend. You know? And then she's like, okay, I think I've told you what there is to tell. And I want to hear what she has to say about more of her adventures. What she tells him, what she wishes she could tell him, what she wants him to know, but... <sighs> Sorry, I just... <sighs> I'm just so sad for Aloy. I'm just very sad for Aloy. <laughs> Viral is a good friend. Yeah. He's a cool dude. I love Viral. He's like, yeah, he's clearly got some mom issues, but that's okay. Is there another... Is there another path? Is there a path back from home? I think he built all this. Yeah, I know. There's nothing for me here anymore. I don't think that's true, Aloy. I think I want to get around there and go do that. And I don't know that I can. I'm not sure how. But there's a metal flower out that way. I want to get it. And because I'm sitting here crying, so I might as well be silly. 
But I think that there's a wall around here, so you can't do that. But you can see. You know? You can see a path continues out that way. But I don't think we can go that way. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe I can go around to the other side. Oh man, the original Prince of Persia. Yeah, no, I, I, I went straight to the, uh, the Sands of Time. That's the Prince of Persia that I know. There's an opening there? I don't think there is. Like, it looks like there might be, but there isn't actually, I don't think. Sorry, Aloy. Oh, there is! Oh! Oh, I didn't even see that. Silly Lauren. Okay, well, we're going this way. Hope you folks are okay with this. Has this always been here? Did I just not go here as a, like, as young Aloy? Because I wasn't observant? Hold on, we're gonna get some more healing items, because we might as well. Is this the right way? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, so I feel like true true knight doesn't actually fall within the embrace. Because I remember being surprised at how much darkness um, I saw once we were out in Karja territory. And I assumed that that was a mechanical thing. But now I'm wondering if it is. Or if, in fact, sorry, we're going to Skyrim horse our way up there if we can. If there's something causing light here, you know? Oh my god, come on, let me Skyrim horse. I'm, it's funny, I'm like, I'm still sitting here with like tears rolling down my cheeks from this scene with Ross and I'm Skyrim horsing my way up here. Sorry folks, this is what, who and what I am. I am a person who will do both of those things. Huh. But Oh, there it is. I see it. I see it. Hold on. Oh. Well, that's how you're supposed to get here. But I didn't. Mark one. Another question waiting for an answer. Evening wind water laps the heron's legs. I think that these are just supposed to be memories of nature. Wow. This is a whole section. This is a whole area that I hadn't been. I feel like I should just go and fight the scrappers in the scrapper sites. Just because, like, why not? You know? Alright, well, let's see what we're supposed to have done here. That sure is scenic, isn't it? There's gotta be a way. Yeah, it's 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 brighter here. 
You don't get true knight here. That rope seems to go the wrong way. It goes down from there to here, so I think I've got no choice but to do this. All right. Hmm. Maybe not. The other rope? Hold on. Other rope? What other rope? This one, I, this one, I, I, that's how I got back. But this I assume I can't do anything with. Oh my god, Aloy. Oh my god. They make her sound exhausted as she does these. Oh my god, Aloy. Oh honey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. down from here? Can I Skyrim horse my way down there to the floor of this place? Eh, let's find out, shall we? Why not? Shoot, did a little, a little damage. Let's not, let's not. Um... Yeah, I know she's got to have some pretty serious m muscles. Alright, let us, uh... <clears throat> Shoot. Well, didn't die. Didn't die. I just, I want to get down there but not die. I suppose I could just take the path down like a person's supposed to. <sighs> but I don't wanna. I'm sorry, this is absolutely not what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Like, why am I back here in the embrace? I don't know, because I wanted to see what that thing was, and the answer is Rost's grave. It's interesting that it shows up as ruins, but I guess they had to label it as something. You know? I want to go down there. What are you? Oh, a bunch of watchers. Psh, whatever. I can take you. Alright, how do I get down there without dying? How do I get down there without dying? Probably the way that I'm supposed to. Man. Okay. There's probably not anything for me. Eh? Funny. Keep things out. There we go. Probably shouldn't waste my good arrows on them, but whatever. It's fine. There's something kind of satisfying about, uh... There we go. We're just gonna go figure this out. Because I don't think I'm gonna find anything in the embrace that's scary. Like, oh no, there's gonna be scrappers over there. Oh no, what am I gonna do with scrappers? Oh no, scrappers. Awake now. Oh my god. Birds. You know? Although I do kind of wonder, like, there's this whole little section over here. Hold on. I should probably switch to regular arrows for those. I want to try to get... Because there's a lot of satisfaction hitting a... Whose camp is this? Is this a camp? That I... Have I been to this camp before? These are figures. These are figures. 
Okay. This looks like children play here. Where was this? What is this? Is this the very beginning of the game? Is this where you go with Rost when you're a child? There were side quests that came this way, huh? Then how come... I didn't have that, um... One with the spear... The spear and the outcast... This way? I didn't think they came this way. Because I, I didn't go to the, um... I didn't go... To the, uh... The campfire. I haven't been to the campfire out this way. You know? Okay, so this is from when you're a child. Okay, that's 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 that was my guess. So those those toys out there, this those toys that I was looking at. Those are uh, those are Aloys. Cuz nobody else comes out this way. This is this is Rost's domain and Aloys. Right? Because it's interesting me, to me that there's scrappers here, and I guess there wouldn't be anything else. Oh, I should get that. I came here to get medicine, and then I spent all of my medicine on things. God, it's so beautiful. I've forgotten just how beautiful the embrace is. Because it feels really scary when you're running around. And now I'm like, Psh, whatever, it's just the embrace. There's nothing, there's nothing here that can actually hurt me. I'm gonna go mess with the scrappers just because I can. That camp with dolls with someone else? Okay. I, I don't remember coming through here with camp with dolls. What is... This is man-made. Look at this. Look at this. Whatever this is or was, there's a triangle on it. That's interesting. You know? Where am I? I don't feel like I've been through. What is. Yeah, more ancient technology. just fight the scrappers here. Like, there's nothing necessarily to be gained from it. Other than that I can, you know? Need them soon enough. Probably. Huh. Actually, there might be data points here. This is a ancient technology. Oh, what is that? Scrap a pile. Here's to be a little loaded salvage. Okay. I'm going to naturally override them and, and, and see what happens. We'll see if I can. See what happens here. Oh my god. Alright. That's one way of taking care of the problem. God, it's gorgeous. Look at how beautiful it is here. Whew, 
there. Oh my god, Wooper. They're scrapping. Oh my god. Wait, who's who's scanning? You are. Friendly machine. That's, that's our, that's the friendly one, right? Hi, friendly guy. Okay, you're good? All right. Cool, what's in here? Why is it purple? Oh. Not too much already. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I have too many coils, apparently. I didn't sell my modifications, huh? Uh. I'll go with this one. Shock and tear, shock and fire. God, I'm gonna have to make some decisions here. Oh, wow, these are all way better freeze than this, so yeah. Wow, okay. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How you doing, friend? Wow, they sure got a lot of stuff on them. Okay, cool. Hold on. Process metal block, I don't know what that is, but okay, modifications. I think I've probably got some more crummy modifications around here that I can get rid of. Yeah, I've got better versions of that. My goodness. Yeah, I guess the blue ones are not very good, are they? Relatively speaking. Okay. Cool. Hi! Can I interact with you in any way? I don't really want to kill you, but you're about to become mad. I want to look around and see. But they wouldn't be data points laying around here, would there? They wouldn't just have a data point hanging out in a, in the embrace, would they? Sorry, buddy. Okay. Alright. There we go. Got a little bit of experience. Okay. So apparently if you go to the scrapper hordes, you, you can find stuff that might actually be worthwhile. But yeah, they wouldn't have data points out here, would they? Not this early in the game. So I guess I'm done here. I guess I've done everything there is to do here. Hello, ratty. Oops. Okay. Well, I guess we should maybe actually go where we're supposed to go then. But it's interesting because like, like what is this? What are these components of? What was here? What is this thing that used to- wait, what is that? Hold on, folks, what is that? So those are tree limbs, not the sprawly, metal-y, leggy thingies. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Scrabbling a bit. I'm gonna go find out. Hold on, we're gonna go investigate. I'm sorry, this is not at all what I should be doing, but it's what I'm doing with my time. Going to a, going to Rost's grave was good. That was a good worthwhile thing to do. And I just I felt like this I felt like there had to be something here. You know? Oh shoot. What is this? What is this? I'm sorry, I'm gonna probably die trying to make this jump. Oops, that's the wrong button. Okay, I didn't die. Cool. Now what?
Okay, we're in it. There's a triangle on it again. You know it has a lot of triangles? The cauldrons. They got a lot of triangles. They're made of triangles. Plane? Think it's a plane? I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around it enough to see if it's a plane. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I hit the wrong button. A plane, you say? What, like that's a wing? assume that would that it would be a, a fighter plane of some sort and we know actually that the the plane place is near near the embrace it's just outside the embrace where um our our dudes yeah okay so this is the wing i don't know what the fuselage is you're gonna have to put that into person who doesn't know planes terms for me so i can just not jump off the edge here like that goes right through. Oh, the music is so pretty. Yeah, that does look like the interior of a plane right there, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Right here? Yeah. Huh. The tube where people sit. Thank you. That's 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 in language I can understand. I'm just looking the at another day. What will this one hold? Wild stuff, Aloy. Sorry, I'm looking at this airplane. A B1 Lancer. Wait, are you actually able to tell? Like, does it look like a battle plane to you? I don't know planes. So this has like a big old opening right here. The fall to your death. Let's not do that. And like these look like like M's, but I don't think they're actually meant to be M's, but they could be. So here's like a rounded thing. I guess that's like the nose of the plane. The nose of planes are round. And so there's there's a on one side. That's one. Which means that probably something down below was the, uh, was the other wing. So a plane crashed here. It's an awfully weird place for a plane to crash into. You know? Yeah, like, like somebody ran, this is the plane's nose, right? This is the nose. Somebody ran the nose into the mountain. No, that's the wrong one. Hold on. The tail? Huh. He spiraled into the jungle. I finally crashed into him. Yeah, okay. So this is the butt. How is the butt stuck in the thing? Like, like, how did this, how is this, how did this happen? What is the scenario in which the butt of the plane gets stuck in a mountain? Well, I mean, the thing is, these aren't actually tree limbs, are they? 
Are they? Are they? Because you see them around a lot in this game. Because if these aren't tree limbs, then what this is, is something's grabbed onto it with little tentacles and grabbed it and wrenched it into the mountain. Because there is a tree up there, but I don't think that those are, that doesn't look like tree limbs, no. That looks like that's, that looks, to me this looks like a plane and a machine had a battle. And the machine grabbed the plane's butt with its tentacles and smashed it into the wall. What's that over there? What's that? I want to go up there. I want to see if I can climb up there. I'm probably going to die, just so we know. Or is that meant to be, is this meant to be part of a tree? Because there is a tree growing out of it. The tree grew around the wreckage, maybe so. What is that? Okay, well, I probably should go do something else that isn't jumping on a plane in the wall. But I'm pretty sure. So here, we got these guys right here. For the metal devil. Yeah, so there's that first data point. Is that the big bad one? Yeah. Yeah, that's like, that's the big bad one. Where is... Where is the mother's embrace, mother's heart? No, that's not it. You know what I'm asking about, right? Frost's grave. Not those ruins. Uh, yes, the place where Aloy was born. <laughs> the kite eating tree, the plane eating tree, thank you. I don't know. Did I ever, I did go here, right? This is where, um, I never did get that. Sorry, I'm a mother's heart. Where was it? Yeah, okay, that was where Mewtwo is over there, right. Where was, where was Aloy from? This is the city, right? Where was Aloy born? Cause there's mother's watch. Is it not on the map? One of the southern side cities here. Mother's Watch. Mother's Cradle. Mother's Cradle. Yeah. So here we've got what looks like just a whole mess of those leggies. Those leggies that Aloy recognized when, uh, when we were looking at things in Maker's End. No, where she was born, the place where they take her when she gets hurt. Mother's watch. Where's mother's watch? Right here, which you'll notice is the one that's closest here. So there's got to be some significance to the grounded plane that's near here. That's got to be significant. Because like, just like look where it is. This stuff is just all over the place. Look at that, there's like a bit of a road there. I wanna go up into the mountain, but I don't think it, I don't, I, if I remember correctly, last time I tried that, it didn't let me. I'm gonna try this again. I'm sorry, folks. I could just continue the story and actually get these answers myself, the way that I'm supposed to. But apparently, I don't care about doing what I'm supposed to do or what makes sense. I want to investigate these things. 
So that that was definitely that was a plane that was crashed into the mountain. I should progress. I should go to Meridian. Or something. Or go to another cauldron or something. Okay. Oh, I can't go in there, right? They closed the door to me, right? So I can't actually go in there, right? Then they've then they've made it so you can't Skyrim horse your way up. I think. Let's find out. Pretty sure that I ran into an invisible wall the last time I tried this, and I feel like this is an invisible wall again. Yeah. I've been banished from Potos Village, yes indeed. Yeah. Just look at this. Look at this invisible wall saying no. The game is like Lauren. We know you're trying to cut ahead in the story. Oh shoot. What is that? What are you? Scrappers. That's fine. I'm not afraid of you. It's all good. Okay. We're gonna do this. Go around up here. See what happens. Yes, we make Secret of Mana references here. Yeah, okay, so the answer is no, you don't get to do this. Darn it! Okay. <sighs> They're wise to me. They're wise to me. All right, well anyway, this is probably where something conclusive is gonna happen for the end of the game. All right, what are we gonna do, folks? Well, we could take out the rest of the bandits. We could go find another tall neck. Like, we, we could just go to the Two Teeth Bandit place right here. It's, uh... It's, like, right there. And it's level 9. So I could probably just run in and hit them with a stick. So I could do that. Because I'm not level 9. You might have noticed. This is a weird stream, and my, apologi my apology for that. Um, that we, we, we had, like... 40 minutes of Lauren speculating about bits and pieces of things. But I hope it's clear that for all that I'm clearly really enjoying the puzzle aspect of the story, that I'm still emotionally engaged with the characters. Um, especially Aloy herself. Krona wants me to go YOLO on the bandits. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. The focus indicates that the corruptor is weak to fire. That's an interesting phrasing, isn't it? The focus indicates that. Ooh. Oh, that's a whole nother way out. Okay, well let's let's go here. There had there's a reason why I didn't do this place last time. Why was that? Did, was this place hard? How high, how high level was I when I came through here last? Where is Nil? Is there another corruptor at the gate? Okay. That sounds... What's going on down here? Sawtooth. Lance horns. Just a whole bunch of those guys. Just a mess of enemies. Alright. All right, we're gonna do this properly here. I'm gonna climb up this way. We're gonna see if we can find Nil. Do I have to find Nil to be able to do these properly? Because my gut says yes, but I don't know where he is. I guess I should zoom around. 
take a look. Okay, see, there's there's some Nora prisoners there that I have to free. So you don't, like, miss out on stuff if you don't find nil? Alright. I'm not getting- I'm not getting that much experience for killing these guys. <laughs> Cause I'm- I'm too high level. That guy's like, huh? Might be something up- Oh shoot. Okay, hold on. Fire up the damn signal! If we don't rally, we're scrapped. Ain't afraid to die. Ain't afraid to kill. Okay, cool. Glad to know that you guys are ready to die. They don't see me, do they? You dumb dumbs. Out of ammo. Picked off. Got you a present. Did you? All right. I feel like I should switch to different arrows here. Like, I feel like I should just use my regular arrows here. She's going up. That's one way to run. <sighs> Oops, shoot. You. you dodged. How dare you dodge, you jerk? Okay, sorry. Oops. Oh, shoot! That's not good. Regular bow wasn't doing enough damage, so. All right, so those guys got out. So I could have freed them, but I didn't. Okay, cool. Excellent. Campfire discovered. That was not hard. That was a. Uh, that was definitely the most aggressive I've been, because it was it was pretty out in the open. It was much smaller. This was definitely not a bandit, um, bandit spot on the scale of the other bandit ones. Also, though, I am definitely, I was definitely over level. I was just dropping those guys with one hits. Yeah, I dunked on them indeed. Oh man, there's just a bunch of dudes. I thought I tried using a health potion and it wouldn't let me. Did I accidentally use a special health potion when I meant to use a regular health potion? I really need to tell the difference between the health potions. Yeah, I'm definitely supposed to be using health potions more than I do. Ancient debris. They've just got their random junk here. Alright. Yes, I did dunk on those fools indeed. 
Is Nil not... Not in this one? I guess maybe Nil's not in every, uh... Every bandit outpost. What a boon. Our new home. Yes, you have a new home. Hello. I've been up since early in the morning. I can barely think. Maybe you should take a nap. Alright, so here we get our stuff. Oh. Should have brought a cart. Oh, I was supposed to use some traps. Well I didn't. But will these things still be here? Like if I come back oh 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 Robar is coming. An advertisement. Amazing. Let's see what this one says, shall we? So the ads are usually just a little bit of world building. They don't really have deep lore in them. Uh, but they're still fun. Robar is coming. There's a Robar location coming to your neighborhood. This is a special offer exclusively for print value recipients. Did you know that Robar, America's premier automated brew pub, is opening a location near you? Our Boston, Chicago, and St. Louis locations are famous nationwide for their delicious craft beer selections, artisanal takes on classic bar food, and gracious robotic bar staff. Why spend good drinking money on tips? Make tonight a Robar night at our new print value recipient location location and enjoy 15% off your tab. Well done, Whooper. Well done. All right. So it's just like a little bit of flavor that shows you kind of how technology was like worked into their society. Why spend your money on tips for you. so you don't have to tip the robots? They do really feel like they've put a lot of things for, um, like, it feels like a lot of things are, um, indicating that there would be, um, kind of a, like, robot uprising. But I think that, I honestly think that that's a red herring. I think that that's a red herring. And maybe it's not, but I assumed that was, like, that was the end of the world. You know? And it's very definitely not. So, I don't know. Oh, did I come through here? I guess I must have. It's a bunch of dead guys. We'll, we'll go back out that way in a minute. But we're going to continue going through here. See what else there is. Oh, I guess I must have taken out this guy. A robot herring, yeah. Sniper. Sniper. Did I take damage? I didn't. Okay, good. I thought I might have. But I was going God to laugh. Bless me. She looks like a proper Nora these days. Oh, shut up, you jerk. I love Aloy's absolute disregard for like the Nora's like strict rules. How do I get up there? Presumably I do get up there. It looks like I should be able to get up there. Maybe I can't. Maybe this is just a tower that I can't go up. Wild as beasts. It's like the metal devil is corrupting them. Yes, everyone has things to say about the corruption. Yes, yes. Alright. I don't think I can get up there. I want to get up to that tower, but I don't I don't think I can. So I guess I've done what there is to do here. I guess I'll get my stuff, sell some stuff, move along. Hmm. That's interesting. All right. I guess I shot these guys in the face. Point blank. All right. I assume that the prisoner is no longer a prisoner, right? I assume. That didn't glitch out, did it? I will absolutely go around there and try to rescue you if I need to. Have no fear. I will try to rescue you. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You're not actually a prisoner. All right, well, like, that seems to be the end of this place. That was quick. 
I want to do one more thing, and I don't know what that one more thing is. Stocking up? I shouldn't go super late tonight. Not even a person to talk to. Where does this go? Because they're a... Uh, their little thing I'm here seems awfully... They've claimed an awful lot of this land. Did I luck out to have them all lumped together as close as I was? Oh, this isn't a way down, is it? No, it's not. Darn it, what is... Oh, is this the way down? This is the way down. There's a thing down there. And I feel like I might try to get it. Maybe? Discovered a campfire. So much for being careful. Yep. Whee! What is this? Where is this? Have I been here? This looks like a lodge. Is this where the guy with the medicine was? Or is this something else? not picking up anything over here so oh look there's the campfire that I was talking about I think how do I get over there this doesn't feel like I've been out here before because I feel like if I'd been out here before oops I would have gotten that campfire where is that campfire there it is hello campfire all right And yeah, no, they've, they've indicated, like, that there would be reason for a robot uprising, you know? Like, there's, like, a lot of the, like, you wouldn't have to treat them. Don't have to treat them well. Don't have to treat them with respect, etc., etc. You know? So, it feels like they set that up, but I don't actually think they did. Where is the metal flower? It's right around there somewhere. Somewhere in this vicinity. Where is it? Uh, it's a bunch of you guys there. Uh, hmm. Ouch. Careful, Aloy. Aloy's like, I'm being careful. You're not being careful, Lauren. Aloy says you're the problem. That's fair, Aloy. Aloy, that's definitely fair. Oh, there's a lot of healing around here. Cool. Oh, my medicine pouch is full. There's a sawtooth. That must be. Is that? No, it's it's up that way. No, it's around here somewhere. We just don't know where it is. Hold on. Oops, wrong button. So it's somewhere in this vicinity. I must have not gotten it because I was scared of that sawtooth. I think I could probably take a sawtooth. I think I could punch a sawtooth to death. I think I'm at a point in my, my ability where I could punch a sawtooth to death. One sawtooth. I fought multiple sawtooth before and it was a lot harder. God, that's a lot of scrappers. Man, that's a lot. Wow. That's a lot of guys. Okay, well, I don't want to fight those guys. Can I override these guys? Still inside of this. Good night, Chrono. Oh shoot. What sees me? What sees me? I think I'm shoot, what else sees me? Oh 
shoot! Oh shoot! If I get destroyed by these guys, that'll be embarrassing. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Not well aimed. He's not coming for me. I wonder why. There it is. Actually, let's try something. Am I not hitting him? Is he too far away? Okay. Okay. All right. That was testing. I was testing that out. Okay. Well, I said I was going to punch it to death and I didn't. Sorry about that, folks. Um, but now we should be able to uh, look for the uh, metal. What? That's, that's, that's cursed. That's cursed. I'm gonna just ignore that. Choosing to ignore that. Chill water, cool. I'm glad it didn't throw that at me. You know? That could have been bad. It could have been sad. Everyone would have been sad. Well, I would have been sad. Full already. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go through my inventory modification. The green ones aren't very good, yeah? That's the thing. Okay. Hold on. There were more guys here, right? Yeah. Okay. Still not sure where the, uh, where the flower is, but at least I can look for it now without being afraid of- Oh, there it is! I found it! I found it! I found the flower. Mark one. All right. To tangle or untangle the willow, it's up to the wind. Yeah, they're all about nature. So I've got two more before I can get a full set of that. Well, that that's kind of glorious. I've made some more progress here. I've, I've, I've overcome my fears or something. There's another one up there though. I don't really need to go running up there to go get that metal flower. Is that the last metal flower in this region though? Because I think that might be it. Wait, no, there's two more. There's two more. Never mind. Hmm. Because there's a metal flower there and a metal flower there. And I wonder if those are from this, this area. I don't know. So there's one more. There's one more bandit camp. And it's this place right out here which has a lot of stuff around it that's scary. Oh, there's a metal flower over there. Oh, there were some scary things over there. Part of me wonders if I should go out here and finish this section up. Maybe not tonight. Maybe I should actually shut down properly, like a proper person. But I wonder how hard whatever is over here is. Why did I run away? Was there a willow at the base of that hill? Oh, there was a willow in that area. I remember thinking there was a weeping willow. And I love weeping willows. They're beautiful trees. 
So I wonder if like the plants have to do with, um, like if the poems have to do with the kind of plants that come from that particular, I don't know. But it is interesting. And I wonder if they did this here on this part of this continent. What befell the rest of the world? I can't help but wonder. I punched it with the fist of the flame of my arrows. Yes, indeed. I did indeed. I just, I wonder, like, I wonder. Okay, hold on. Where are we? What are we looking at here? Corrupted machines. Where am I? Why are there, why is there corruption here? I want to go to this. Why are there corrupted machines? Here. Okay, well, we're gonna just, like, go away. This way. Is this where we had the stadium battle? This is familiar. Been through here, but why is there, um, why is there a campfire I haven't been to? I remember coming through here. I guess I must have been really, really scared of this place. Oh, it's so beautiful to have, like, the, like, the water lilies down there. And then over here, we've got, like, you know, our explosive barrels. All right. The stadium place, which I noped out afterwards. Okay, that sounds familiar. But what was I noping out about? What was I so scared of? And am I still scared of it? There's a campfire. I, w I want to say they were like Glenhawks or something like that, that I didn't know what they were. There was something flying, and I was concerned about them. Corrupted red eye watchers. Okay, hold on. Okay, I was scared of everything, you're right. Okay. I mean, I could probably take these guys. Probably. I could probably take them. I, I think I probably could take them. What is this? Probably nothing good. Just get you got to keep an eye out for for uh, data points whenever you're in ruins like this. You know, that's just how it goes. Yes, yes, I hear the bad guys. That sounds like something big. Corrupted sawtooth, huh? There weren't snap maws yet, right? This is pre-snap maw, right? Right. Oh, look at this, we got another, another one of these tanks. The music sure got scary. Hello, scary music. Probably take the corrupted guy. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, what can I use against you? Oh, I probably want to do this.
their skin. Shoot, I missed. Jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh Didn't kill him. Ooh. Ooh. That was exciting. Whew. All right. Cool. Um. <sighs> was that guy? Search. Was he guarding the thing? I feel like there were some other guys around. Where are they? Hello, Ratty. Ratty Rat, what are you? There we go, the metal flower. Okay. Now I can fearlessly travel over here and get this. Bravely, so bravely. The bravest. Oh, you're not ordinary. What do we got? Sharing tree shade with a butterfly. Friends in a previous life. That's so interesting. Like, I don't know. Aside from clearly having something to... Like, they all clearly have to do with nature. Why is there a slew of corrupted guys over there? I wonder. You know what? I need to kill these fish. So that I can upgrade my something pouch. Let me kill... Let me kill some fish. There we go. I don't actually know if that's what I'm supposed to do. No. Okay. That did not go the way I wanted it to. I don't remember what kind of fish thing I need. I just think I need fish things for something. Trout. Do I know anything about trout? Bony meat. I think we might have hit the limit of what we can do here. But I feel like there's got to be more data points around here. Did I already kind of did I, did I already conclusively explore this area? Corruption glaze root. You know, like this, this is, this is ruins. And this is an area that I was scared of before. And I just wonder if there are, what is this? I don't even remember how much I went through the city before. It's been a while since I was here last. So all of this looks like normal city stuff, except that it's been covered in what is presumably the Zero Dawn calcification. Okay. I want there to be data points. I want there to be data points. And there aren't any more. 
Like, I always felt like I must not have done a very good job exploring this area because I got scared of everything, you know? God, why are there so many corrupted things here? Interesting, because that is noticeable, and that would explain why I was scared of this place. God, there's so many of them. They're pretty scary. Okay, now, if if this were me designing this, I would put a data point here because there's a thing, but I don't see any data points. So I'm just going to search my ancient debris, take my ancient chimes, and get out of here. I think that this might be it. Oh, jeez. Just fought one of you guys. There's a lot of them. Wait, no, that's a scrap scrapper. Was it a scrapper that I fought last time? The corrupted scrapper. God, there's just so many dudes around here. There's a lot of dudes. There's a lot of corrupted dudes. Okay, yeah, I'm not seeing any more data points, unfortunately. So. So are these roots? I guess those are roots. I guess they're just roots. I guess it's just tree roots. <sighs> yeah, did I get everything there? I wonder. I don't know. I don't know, but we did make more progress. There's an entire section I didn't do there. There's, I think, one more metal flower that looks like it's roughly embrace-ish. And that is, oh, I didn't do this corrupted zone. I could do that corrupted zone. I think, I mean, there's this one right here. Uh, that's going into this, which looks like, this looks like this is uh, DLC stuff. I don't know. Well, while we're over here, maybe we can take out that. Where is the, uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and go to this campfire, save here, and call it a day. But I hope that this has been an okay stream. We just did so much last time around that it felt like a good time to just do some little things, you know, do some little bitty things. And we had some we had some good moments, I feel. Some good emotional moments too. Yes, this is a comfortable time, yeah, just a little bit long. <sighs> okay, so we've saved. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down here then. Well, thank you all so much for being here. I'm sorry this has been an all over the place stream, but I think this happens sometimes with these streams. Thank you. Yeah, no, there's a lot, even just moseying around, there's a lot to see and do all the time. Um, and I do want to kind of knock out some of these other little things. And we did do a lot of plot last time. So maybe we'll do some more big plot next time. Maybe we'll go to Meridian. Or maybe we'll do a tall neck. Um, we'll see how I'm feeling. Like I said at the beginning of this stream, I will, I will be traveling this week. So Thursday through, like, midnight... Like, basically, I'll be getting home at, like, 6 a.m. on Tuesday. So I will not be streaming on Thursday or on Saturday. I will be traveling to California, which will be interesting. Um, but, uh, but I will be back for Tuesday's stream. I don't know if I will be up for streaming. So follow, like, social media or Discord, and I will keep you posted on whether we are going to be um, doing streaming then. Um, but, yeah. Thank you all so much for being here. As always, I know you have other things you can do with your Tuesday night, and I appreciate you being here. If you are... Okay, well, the Discord was just there, um, so I don't need to hit the thing for that. But also, you can follow me on social media. Um, yeah, thank you all very much for this. This this is a little bit all over the place. Um, but, uh, but it was fun. It was fun, and I think I've gotten better at this game. So, yeah. Thank you all so much. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you later. Bye.